how's it going everyone? You're watching some more of my Wi-Fi Pokemon battle videos here. This is China Car. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. But today we have a battle versus Rare, aka Ruins Way. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll put it down in the description. But this battle right here is very, very fun. I had a lot of fun in this battle, if you can tell, but I'm trying out a brand new team, and I actually like this team. I I think that this team is a powerhouse, and it's a Pokemon that I haven't really used much. So we'll see how this battle goes. I'm trying out Mega Pidget alongside Charcoal Magmortar, Choice Scarf, Tarantrum, and Choice Best Magnezone, Sturdy. Right off the bat, I forget to Mega Evolve with my Pidget, but in return, I get a critical hit from Fusion off the Drag Algae here, but that doesn't matter just because he goes for Thunderbolt, bypassing the Confusion, and gets a critical hit right back at my face here. That is not cool. But that's alright, because I can go into Magnezone, and scare him out with a, I guess, Thunderbolt. But I expected him to go into Swampert, so I go for Flash Cannon. I knew he was probably expecting me to go for a Volt Switch, actually. But why do that when he has Mega Swampert in his party, so... I'm going to switch out and go into Brutus here, the Sheer Force for Alligator, who is actually banned from the NU tier, the Never Used tier. If you're not familiar with that. I can clearly see why, just because of how strong the thing is. Sheer Force Life Form can do a ton of damage. But unfortunately for me, I was expecting the Swapper to go for Stealth Ox instead of going for an Earthquake, and there you go. You see how bulky the thing is. As it doesn't get hurt much from the Sheer Force Life Form Waterfall. If you're not familiar, Sheer Force actually removes the secondary effects of moves, but boosts them up by 30%. But that's neither here nor there. I am actually going to go into my Scarf Tarantrum now, and finish him off with an Earthquake. I probably should have just gone for a head smash right there, but... I don't know. That's just a tough decision there, but I just had to make the safe play. That's all I had to do. I go into Sylveon, because of the Primeape here. This is actually an offensive Sylveon, which many people don't really want that much. I know that there's the typical defensive variant, but this one is the Pixelate Sylveon named Catherine here. I go for a Hyper Voice just to be safe here, and I see just how frail the Torkoal is on the special split there. I'm very happy about the damage I'll put there, but you can clearly see that Torkoal is not going to take a few hits in a few more turns here. I go for Wish, because I know I can take a hit from this thing, even with a boost, I think. Because look at that, that was a critical hit. And you see how I take that hit, that is great. Thank you, Catherine, for being so bulky. I enjoyed that. So now we can finish him off with an, another Hyper Voice and then get recovered from the Wish. And that is how you work with a offensive Sylveon. Just how awesome that is, that is great. Combine that with leftovers and you got something to be reckoned with. With Torkoal out of the way, he has to go back into Primate because that is his only win condition for my team at this point. I could switch out and go into something else, but really, it's the Primeape, which has a lot of coverage. I go into Magnezone, of course, because I know he's Scarfed, and I know he's locked in on Poison Jab. I go in for the attacking move right here to hit Dragology. Let's go for another Flash Cannon, and just take, just take two of those to the face, Dragology, that's all I'm asking, and you go down. And this is the power of Choice Breath and Owl Kick. Well, actually, this is not an Owl Kick. This is a sturdy Magnezone. 
and I was not sure if my opponent realized that. But I have sturdy attack, and that's great. I go for another choice by Splash Cannon. Surprisingly, he doesn't take a hit, and I'm like, wow, that's just a strong Flash Cannon there. Very, very strong Magnezone. And this is actually my first time using Magnezone to its full potential. I'm really happy at this point. So good job, Magnezone. But Fade, the Zoroark is going to come in without any illusions and yeah, destroy me with a Dark Pulse by going, yeah. Finally, we can go for the Choice Scarf Head Smash. And we can destroy the Zoroark. But that also leaves the Primeape open for another attack here. And that is like, uh, oh well. I wanted to see if I could go for the Head Smash. What I really should have done was sacrifice my Magmortar and then go for the switching the Tyrantrum and go for Outreach. That could have been a much better play in my opinion. Because you see how well that Head Smash did to the Primeape and Primeape resisted it. But that also means like if I had a Focus Sash on this Magmortar, which I really like on Magmortar, I would have taken a hit and taking out the Primeape and won the battle. But overall, that was a great battle there. That is the best battle that I had with this team. Now I can officially retire this team for now and focus on some other Pokemon that I recently trained up. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And I will have a Indigo League of Legends Wi-Fi battle going up this week. So look out for that and I'll see you guys all next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.